Howdy folks, I am Bruce Keo, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye to Spare. In the last episode, um, the real Makoto showed up and told us not to press the graduate button, even though the game literally forced me to press the graduate option, even though I knew it was all wrong. And, um, I guess after, after that happened, he kind of, we talked a bit about the fact that, oh, Junko's ultimate plan was to basically upload herself into all the people that had been killed during the schooling, killing school trip. Revi uh, uh, wake up in the real world and start spreading her, basically start spreading her AI into everyone. Uh, kind, kind of doing the whole killing school trip, just on a global scale over time. Um, so, in order... So we were forced with the option of graduate and let that happen, or stay here inside the program, continuously living out this uh, this life se uh, separate from everyone else. But Makoto has this shutdown sequence prepared in case of emergencies to get us out of here. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. Then that means even Junko can't stop it. Oh dear me. I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Huh? You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why I, you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown can't be activated is... Not enough people. Knew it had to do with the majority at some point in time because she was excited that there were only five people left. Because there's not enough people? Uh -huh. Pay attention, class! According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are, there are only 6 people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? The only, I mean, the only thing I can think of at this point is just uploading more people, but that's a pretty big risk in and of itself. No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. Interesting. I, um... I get... Well, okay, so he, yeah, he would know ahead of time that we wouldn't be able to shut it down. I guess that would explain why he took the risk to come in here, because he knew he, he still had a faith that we could get out. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us! What is this chance of winning of what you speak? I believe. Uh, what? I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them? Who is them? Uh, what? Dude, did I guess right? Are we gonna see, like, the rest of the cast from the first game? That's not something you need to take your time saying. Art, yes! Believe. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Kyoko, Byakuya, I knew you guys would come. Kyoko? Byakuya? We'd be better off leaving someone behind who jumps to our conclusions without listening to our warnings. I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Uh, hey, uh, what's going on? Why are there more people again? Oh, how exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing you her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of 
man isn't excited by a big woman. Once again, you gain some more experience. You'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. And we're back to this. Oh my god. Oh, shut up. Byakuya, you're alive! But you're so skinny now! I feel so bad for you! Um, he probably prefers it that way. You shut up too. Um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? Now, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that, you guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now! The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids. Making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. How is she gonna... How is she gonna win, I wonder? What's she gonna do? Wow! No! Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff! And now, all the ultimate despairs! <laughs> They'll be treated like even bigger chumps! Chump, you said it again! Oh, just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed up world? Hey, uh, can I ask you something? If we do the shutdown, if we do shut down the program, what's going to happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. Hey, it's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Equal Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. Well, what does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload. You will revert to your original state before you entered the program. That's really not much, that's really not better for you guys though, is it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this group of- Wow, this group of students totally got screwed! There is no way out! You graduate, Junko wins, you repeat, you're- you- you press the repeat button, all the students are stuck in- are stuck on the island, you do the shutdown sequence, and these avatars die, and all the ultimate despair- all the ultimate despairs go right back to being a bunch of villains. That sucks! Is there a reason to tell all them that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program... If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we enter the program... Revert to the ultimate despairs. Oh, what a tragic ending! Does that mean we'll be go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me! Would you used to feel despair upon despair? No! Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern, but this, e this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight. I... I thought we finally reached the end. Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. 
For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Um, very true. What do you say, support? Do you mean, I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you? Or... Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is, like, really nasty. But still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened to you will vanish from your minds. Meaningless. Vanish. Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? Uh, don't ever forget about me, even after you get out of here. If that happens, does it really mean that... that she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. All oh, memories not that... Memories not all that'll go back to normal. If you lost a limb, like the Kito, it'll still be gone when... P please stop! Going back to reality in that condition? That's like a bad joke. We are not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape the past. We don't know anything about that past. Hey. Why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top, they don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they can condescend to the others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy! I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that! Hold on a second. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and to hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation! Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough! My patience is starting to wear thin. Let's hurry up and start the shutdown sequence already. Oh, before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing! Uh, reviewing what? What's happening? Oh, bringing this back. So, <laughs> you force the shut- you force the fort- yeah, sorry. You force the shutdown, the body stay dead, Junko's erased, and we become ultimate despair. <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win? Or will my despair win? Alright! Jing Josh, charging Jay Heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Or contra, this is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. 
That explains why these chums, who weren't around last time, have been reduced to mere side characters. You called us chumps again! Only cause it's true. Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question! Who did I lure, and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie! Let's all think about it together! Okay, so what do This is one I'm not entirely sure of. I hadn't considered this before. Maybe... Maybe I'll stop it here and give myself a little bit more time to think about it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So in the next one, we're going to consider who Junko Alter Ego Junko, lured into the Killing School trip, and how she did it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.